Hello guys. So uh, if you wanted to uh, set up MySQL Workbench and the server in your Windows machine, so first of all you can go to uh, any browser. Uh, here I am using Chrome browser, and you can search for uh, MySQL MySQL Windows installer. Windows installer. Now now the advantage with Windows installer is that you don't need to install a server and workbench independently you can basically install this mysql installer so this installer and this will be automatically set up your uh, both the server and the workbench okay so you hit on this download button and remember to download this one 427.6 so this will not uh, this will basically have all the required softwares and all the serv like the server also which is required for uh, for your workbench setup so don't need to worry about this 32 bit uh, this installer will work for both 32 bit and 64 bit okay so you click on this and this will be downloaded into your local system i have already downloaded it downloaded it so i can just cut this and I can put it in my and my in my desktop now let's run this so there are certain steps that you need to take care of let me just show you those steps now this is this is what you will look into and you will go with this developer default so you don't need to do any you don't need to change anything as you can see that it has all the packages and all the software so you have the server you so microsoft uh, sql server you have the workbench also you have the documentations this will basically consist of your default sakila database so you have everything that will be automatically automatically installed once you run this installer so click next these are the packages that we are looking to uh, download so just click on execute and it will start executing from very first thing and also all the dependencies that are required so as you can see microsoft visual c++ is required for this mysql workbench so i can just i don't need to worry about it the installer will automatically install it so it is it is like a, a complete package that can help you to install everything that is required so don't need to worry about installing each and everything independently right so mysql this will be installed so once this is installed this workbench will be start installing and you as you can see that there are various requirements so microsoft c visual c plus plus is a requirement over here and over here we need python so we will skip this As you can see, once we da we are done with Visual C++, these things are started executing itself, right? So let's wait for some time. Let it be installed and then I will show you how to set up the password. Again, this is this is your micro Microsoft Visual Studio. So there that was C++, this is Visual Studio, again it will be automatically installed. You just need to uh, accept the uh, terms and conditions and then it is that will be in installed automatically. So this is again done, just finish it and now this all, all the things are done. We are left with this, the Python one. So we can see next uh, one more product requirement has not been satisfied so I will just say yes I will wanted to continue and let's execute these things so server workbench and all the things so execute okay so it's done now <coughs> we can click next uh, you need to choose this standalone so just don't do change anything just next now this everything will be default don't need to do anything next again default don't need to do anything next now here uh, 
you need to be very careful see whenever you put a password just make sure that you remember that password so for simplicity purpose i always use root as my password because my account username will be root so you always remember root right so r o o t that is what i will put and r o o t root then click next and then click next again execute this so this is a final setup and after this we are done okay so this is done we can finish it now again uh, this is now the uh, okay we need to just check the connection so just click finish next now here you put the password just to just to check the connection and check the connection now connection should be succeed and then only you will be able to finish it do so execute this this is a sample file that the server is running just to check the connection and we are done so it's done we can just finish this so now if you go to my sql workbench so this one is the app click on over here uh, you will have this this type of interface just double click on this root you will require to put the password so the password that we have chosen and save the password in vault so that you don't need to put it again and again just click ok and now you are done so you can get rid of this thing click over here and you have this now if you click over uh, the schema over here you will have this Sakila database and you will have all the tables so this is how you basically uh, set up your workbench and your SQL server just by installing the uh, Windows Inst